What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm Anthony. On today's video, we are going to do another book review. This time is going to be adding to our self-reliance library and the book is Butchering Poultry, Rabbit, Lamb, Goat, and Pork, The Comprehensive Photographic Guide to Humane Slaughtering and Butchering by Adam Danforth. That's right, today we're going to be doing another book review. Basically, I want to try to find as many books as I possibly can that go into the most detail that I can possibly find because there's a lot of books out there that you might find at your local library or, you know, Barnes & Noble, that kind of thing, that show a lot of overview, but very few of them show extreme detail. So when you find a book that goes into massive amount of detail on a certain subject, I want to make sure I put that on my channel so you all can get the same benefit because they're so hard to find. Now, you all know me. You all know that I'm a humongous fan of gaining knowledge and giving knowledge, and one of my best best ways to gain knowledge is through books and resources that I can physically touch because I'm not a big fan of Kindles and that kind of thing. I like to have something readily on a shelf available to use when I need it. So when it comes down to book recommendations, I take this stuff seriously and I don't want you know, to be giving people books they really don't need. So when I come across a book like this, I had to make sure I went through it cover to cover because I wanted to make sure that if I'm going to be recommending something, it better be a darn good book. And I can tell you point blank, this book is great. There are several reasons for that. There's several reasons why I love love this book but one of the first ones one of the main ones is it is extremely long it is very detailed you get tons and tons of pictures they were not lying when they said the comprehensive photographic guide to butchering and slaughtering your animals because it absolutely is there are so many pictures here even if you don't feel comfortable just reading about something you can correspond to a picture and get it now what first drew me to this book was the fact that it's a book not only on butchering but because it encompasses so many animals now for full disclosure I have experience doing poultry and rabbit because I'm a hunter. Not only do I have chickens that I, you know, raise for eggs and stuff, but I've also dispatched chickens to put on the table. But I hunt things like duck, things like turkey, and rabbit. So I have experience doing that because obviously I hunt them. So when it comes down to it, I feel very comfortable doing things like turkeys, but there's always a room to improve. So just because I've done it before doesn't mean that I can't find a technique or something new that I can appreciate and might put into my repertoire. So that's why I wanted to be able to get a book like this to maybe open my eyes or give me a new reason to do something a certain way. And sure enough, it did that. So that's why getting something that encompasses all of these, even something I've already comfortable doing, uh, made me feel pretty good. Now one thing about me that I take very seriously when it comes down to procuring my meat and growing any kind of food or taking care of anything in the kitchen is cleanliness, all right? Cleanliness is, makes a complete difference between somebody who's kind of just doing this and somebody who's really doing this, all right? This is a big difference between that Jim Bob whatever bubba down the street that gets things done but may not be paying attention to the small little details. And there's a lot of people out there who buy things from the store because they want people that pay attention to the details, all right? I really don't like going to people's houses that I don't trust to eat their food if I don't really know how they handle their food. And the same thing is like when you're going to work and you have those like potlucks and people just bring a whole bunch of dishes. I'm not eating that. I don't trust you. I don't know what you do with your kitchen. You might have cats on the counter while you're cooking. I don't know. So when it comes down to cleanliness, that's a really big deal for me. And one of the humongous pluses of this book is it goes into the cleanliness aspect every step of the way. It's not just like one chapter, which there is a chapter about cleanliness and sanitation, but it talks about it consistently through every single animal every step of the way. So because they care about cleanliness, I know this book knows what they're talking about. Another part that I take extremely seriously is the dispatching of an animal cleanly and humanely. I don't want to give any animal any unnecessary suffering. I think anybody that gets into this, whether it be farming, hunting, whatever, want to make sure that the animal is treated as absolutely as humanely as possible. Because the more humane you treat the animal, the better tasting the meat's going to be. And not to mention your karma's clear. So whenever you can give an animal that kind of respect, the better it's going to be. And another thing I like about the book is they really do go into detail whenever it talks about actually slaughtering the animal, how to do it the most humane way possible. And finally, the biggest reason why I'm recommending this book, why I want y'all to check this one out at least, is because I want you to understand that there is a big difference when it comes to traditional butchering, like taking the animal that's already been killed and eviscerated, and taking it apart on your kitchen counter, all right? Cutting out different parts from a primal, like taking a chicken and taking off the thighs, taking off the breast, taking off the wing. It's a big difference between doing that versus actually taking the chicken from the coop and slaughtering it and feathering it and that kind of thing. So the reason this book is aces in my book is because they go through all of that. Okay, so not only does it go through butchering process on the table, it goes through the actual process of taking it from still alive to all the way down to the basic 
going to the table. So that's why I like it so much because it really does take you through every single step of the way. All right, so I think I'm going to end the video there. Again, this book is called Butchering Poultry, Rabbit, Lamb, Goat, Pork, The Comprehensive Photographic Guide to Humane Slaughtering and Butchering by Adam Danforth. Full disclosure, I bought this on Amazon for like $22. I know some of y'all are not a humongous fan of Amazon, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Amazon link down below in the description and another link if I can find it somewhere else. That way you can check out that place as well. Just like I said, so you can avoid having to buy on Amazon if you don't want to. So, but this is one of those books I absolutely recommend you having. It's great to have in your library. If you want to live a self-reliant lifestyle, then you will definitely have to know how to butcher an animal, especially cleanly. And since a lot of us out there who are homesteaders or self-reliant livers like to have livestock, then having a book like this is clearly a no-brainer. So if you like this video at all, please give me a thumbs up. It very much helps out my channel and I would absolutely appreciate it. Subscribe and I will catch y'all on the next one. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you.